Hi guys, it's your girl <clears throat> Navisha09 or Nicely Created. And I usually don't record from my webcam because it has like this delay in it. But um, I have promised to do a live update and I can't find my tripod, uh, a little piece that goes on my tripod. And so I don't, I can't do a lock update without, you know, a camera. So I decided to go ahead and do it on my webcam, even though I prefer not to use it. So I am four years locked, y'all. And my locks have become so much a part of my life that I don't even think about them, you know, when you're, um, when you're in the early stages of your locks, they're changing so much that you notice every single change. But, you know, when they start getting past, I guess, past two years, I guess about, I guess I washed my hair really closely for about two years. And then it was like, whatever. Uh, year three for me was like, did I wash my hair? When was the last time I washed my hair? I think I need to wash my hair. Oh, I'll wash it tomorrow. <laughs> you know, so year three was like really nonchalant with my hair. But um, <clears throat> I think somewhere between year two and three, I decided to freeform. And so um, for a long time, I just had these um, combined locks. They weren't locked together. They were just combined. And so this past year, um, I didn't even notice until I looked at my three year anniversary um, video that I don't have those combined blocks anymore. They have completely joined together. And so what I do have are these pretty, pretty luscious freeform blocks at the top and then these ends that are just not matching the rest of my hair. I can't wait until it grows out and I can cut this off. And no, I don't have any qualms about cutting my hair. Um, I guess because my hair has always grown back at a pretty good pace. But um, let me show you guys my hair. So this is the front. Let me get in a little bit closer so you can see everything. Um, my hair is this. Okay. So this is the front. And I can remember talking about that one big thing that grew that those locks join by themselves right in the middle of my head. So look how nicely that has formed. You can actually see a very definite difference between where I've actually been letting the hair form on its own to the part where I manicured. And I just I just love my freeform plots, the ones, you know, the parts that, that freeform. And so lately I've been noticing that um my hair some of the colored areas have been defending um i colored my hair i guess right around the time that i turned one year that was my big celebration for my hair turning one year and so you can see how long my hair has grown in that first year you know since that first year but anyway Back to the subject at hand, I'm pretty easily distracted right now. I'm a little bit um, not sober. <laughs> so, uh, there. You can see right here, it's like really limp and rigid. and I mean, not rigid. And it's like um, coming, starting to unravel. Do you see that? This is not what a sober person does. I'm just got darn lots up. Anyway. The laptop is messing up my orientation, so like when I try to go this way, it looks like I'm going the opposite direction simply because it's a mirror and not, um, I mean, it's a recording and not a mirror. But um, I've noticed that that thinning in a few of my colored blocks, not all of them, just some that were already, I guess, well, this one is actually not doing that. But I am noticing the part, some parts, you know, where my hair is much stronger at the root. Then you get down to my um, this part, and it's kind of, you know, I don't know, 
it's kind of gapping. It's like eventually, like if I would have kept this as a single lock. I think eventually that hair would have weakened at the base and snapped off. So, yeah, and I can feel like some of the manicure locks, even though I didn't manicure my hair um, often when I was retwisting, I can still feel some weak areas, I guess. And I didn't twist tight. I don't know. I don't know if it's because that is the nature of the lock or uh, something that I did wrong earlier in my journey. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> this is the side of my hair. Now look at that. Look how, how gorgeous that is. I don't know. I just love my hair. I really do. You know, I see so many people with these sew-ins and I'm going back to the country and everybody's asking me, when am I going to cut my hair in permanent? So I can look like that mess? I don't think so. I love this. This is the other side. And I'm going to go to the back. And I'm going to try to show y'all how long my hair is. It's actually grown. Okay, this is the back. And... I can actually, and I'm looking straight, y'all. I'm not tilting my head back. So I'm officially in the back bra strap length. And I'm almost, i say about maybe two years. At the rate that my hair grows, I'm saying I'm maybe two years away from being a waist length hair. And I don't think I'm about that. Sorry, I'm moving around. I don't even know how I feel about that because, um, at this length, I don't even like to wash my hair. But, um, there's not much going on with my hair. Um, I know Asia is going to be making some earthalisms. She quit making it, y'all. That was the only thing that helped my hair. Only thing that worked in my scalp. The best product on the market. And she quit making it. And so now she's going to be making a special batch. A bat, batch. Because, um, People are asking about it. I'm sorry, y'all. My eyes, I'm just all up in it, scratching it. But anyway, my hands are, my fingers are black. I've been crafting. And decided to take a break and get inebriated. Anyway. <laughs> but, um, yes. So I moved back to Jasper, Texas. I don't know what the hell I was thinking to move back to the boondocks. I mean, y'all, um, my town is so freaking small. Somebody drove into a ditch today. I mean, like, right down the street from my house. And the cops were there in, like, two minutes. That's how small. <laughs> the cops, the ambulance, and the fire truck were there in, like, two minutes. That's how small of the town that I live in. And I've been noticing. Oh, yeah. I'm, you're not supposed to talk about my hair. Anyway. This is my baby lock. I hate this lock. I hate it so much. All it does is stick up in the front of my head. But it's actually, I think when I started it, I can pretty much tell because my roots, this hasn't started to lock in. So I think when I started it, it was about this little. And it was just a piece of hair right here in the front of my head that would not join with this lock. It was supposed to be part, it was part of this lock. Yeah, right, yeah. And it just would not join no matter how much I twisted it and knotted it. And so I started that baby lock. And this is the bane of my existence. This joker sticks up all the time. But it, it, it has gotten longer. It's gotten a lot longer and it is flat. So I will be glad when it gets some weight so that it can lay down and stop pointing at everybody. It just, and so I'm always constantly tucking it in and trying to pin it down. And then I'll walk by the mirror and this joker is sticking out. And I'm like, oh, can't give me a break. But yeah, but I hate it, but I love it. I can't wait till it gets at least this long so it can start hanging instead of sticking out. That's part of the baby stage that I can't, I miss the baby stage, but at the same time, I can't be in the baby stage and in adult stage. And this is just not, 
it all of my hair was sticking up I'd be fine but not just that one okay so I am seeing some things in Jasper that are really driving me nuts okay everybody wants to have locks I understand when I saw them I didn't want them and, but you know the more I saw them the more I wanted locks and so everybody is getting locks and it's mostly boys <clears throat> and y'all one thing that I hate I hate for a person to do something without researching it for it. I have seen some of the nastiest locks in my life and you know you know how we as natural hair people we don't like people come touching our hair we don't like people telling us how to how to do our hair we don't want, I'm free form it I don't want a loctician coming up to me telling me you really need to do this and this and this and this to your hair and so I try not to do that to other people you know I might be like oh, when I see them but if they don't ask me I'm not going to say anything to them because that's not my business and I try to stay in my lane that's my goal in life stay in my goddamn lane so, but there was this one little boy. He may have been six years old, and his hair is ladled with wax, beeswax. Everybody down here in the country, you can't find no natural oils, but you can find some beeswax. And so, his hair, number one, he has a really soft, curly, textured hair. Number two, it's not very long. And so, you know, I was looking at his hair and I was seeing how nasty it was. And his mama comes up and gladly tells me they told him not to wash his hair for six months. And so she just uses dry shampoo. And I was like, you know, his hair really needs to be cleaned to, to lock. That wax is going to grow into his hair. It's going to be nasty. You're not going to be able to get it out. I said, maybe you should wait a few months for his hair to grow a little bit longer and do the two-strand twist. That way, you won't have to worry about him unraveling. And if it comes undone, you can do it yourself. And with his hair texture, that will be better. She was like, okay. They told him not to wash his hair in six months. I throw my hands up. That is the end. And so, let me tell you another one. So, Oh, I met my friend. I have not seen my friend since we were like she in high school. I haven't been in high school in what 11, 12 years. And so I see him and you know from a distance you know he has these locks. They're about this yay long. They are fully mature and they are so non-consistent above you know into the locks. So this part would be fat skinny fat skinny fat skinny and I was wondering why I was looking like that and it looked like he it was they were they eventually gonna fall off but I tell you that they're gonna start breaking off and they're gonna fall off because they are so unhealthy and so um I look at his roots and he has these rubber bands in this joker tight 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 tight, tight. and so it's cutting off the lock right before the lock even has a chance to even have a chance it's already getting killed because he has this tight rubber band just squeezing the life out of his hair. And so that's why we had the bumps going on. And so I told him, I was like, hey, your hair is already locked. You don't need those rubber bands. It's going to lock naturally. It's, you know, that's the nature of black hair is to form knots. Shit, he still got them goddamn rubber bands in his head. I tell you that. And it's just, it's so many. And I'm looking at them like, yeah, I love your hair. And they looking at me like, what the fuck is going on with your head? <laughs> and so, welcome back to small town Jasper, Texas. And so guys, um, I'm going to tell you guys, you know lockers, I'm going to tell you. These are my do's and don'ts of locking. This video is getting super duper long. And so I'm going to come back with my do's and don'ts of locking right after this. Thanks. Stay tuned.